Our next guest this evening has starred in License to Kill and Fierce Creatures. Currently, she can be seen on NBC's Law and & Order, and it's a uh, real pleasure having her with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Carrie Lowell. Nice to have you on the program. I'm just getting mic'd up here. Oh, you, yes, think, right. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, looks very nice. Thank you. The microphone looks beautiful. Is it there? <laughs> <laughs> there was no place to put it on this dress, I'm afraid. That's fine with me. A yes. bit fitted. <laughs> um, congratulations. I mean, uh, Law and Order doing quite well. People love you on this TV show. Yeah, it's going well. I, I, I um, uh, you know, a couple months ago couldn't get arrested. Couldn't get a job anywhere, and then suddenly this job came up. And, and I mean, that's hard to believe, but well. there are dry spots in, uh, in, in, in careers, and, and you were having a hard time of it, and you actually thought, I'll go back to school? I'll go back to school. I had just finished Fierce Creatures, and I had been in London for six months, and I came back, and I went on so many auditions. I mean, I must have gone on 150, and no, I'm sorry. No, you're not right. We don't want you. And so I thought, I can't keep doing this. You know what that's like. <laughs> 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 okay. Anyway, I got a job, and, and uh, yes. I almost went back to school. I was going to go to uh, NYU Film School, and two days before classes started, I got the call to go to Los Angeles and read for NBC, and they gave me the job. And now, so I had to go back to NYU and stand in the bursar's office and demand my, my, my money back, because I'd already paid my tuition. Had you bought any of the books for classes or anything like no, that? No, no, not yet. But no. still, they owed, you had to go back and say, I don't want to go to school anymore, I want the money back exactly. because I got my own TV show. Because now, yeah. That doesn't happen often. The film department was very understanding. They, they... Mm -hmm. That's cool, and you can do that some other time. Yeah. This is terrific. Absolutely. Uh, I know that uh, it's, it's in the tabloids, or everybody, you know, it's, it's one of those things that everyone seems to know who's dating who in Hollywood. It's no secret that you're dating Richard Gere. Yes. Uh, and I feel like Rona Barrett here. But I was thinking, I know that you have uh, a daughter. Is it a daughter? Yes, I have a, a six-year-old daughter. A six-year-old daughter. And seven. my question was, I would think that would be tough. I don't have kids, but I would think it would be hard to juggle having a, a little kid and, and going out with someone at the same time. It's funny. Um, she, when, when I first brought him home, he picked me up one night to, to go out, and he came to the house, and he... And he met my daughter, and she was, she was very excited and very up, and she goes, oh, Richard, Richard, I want you to meet Squirrely and Weasel. I want you to meet Squirrely and Weasel. Now, I know who Squirrely and Weasel are. So I, she walks him back to her room, and, and he walks in the door. Well, Squirrely and Weasel are her pet gerbils. And <laughs> Richard <laughs> looks at me like this. <laughs> This is a network show. Is there any press around? Or the press around? <laughs> is he there? I, but Hannah wasn't listening. She was going in, Squirrely, I don't know. He, he's not eating. Something's wrong with him. I think he's sick. And he goes, well, you know he's going to get blamed if he dies. <laughs> I was instantly in love with him, and then <laughs> so, and that's it. So he has a sense of humor He's about the thing. He's got a wonderful thing. sense of humor about oh, it. Oh, good. Oh, my God. I didn't know where you... <laughs> you never know where a story's going, huh? What can I say? You never know on these shows, do you, Andy? You never know. You never I, know. I have no idea what you're all yeah. talking about. <laughs> No, and he's an innocent babe, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, rec recognition, I would think, for you, you're on, uh, you're on television, but you've also done quite a bit of film work. And I would think, you know, I know uh, I get recognized, Andy and I get recognized walking around, and we're just on at 12.39 on TV. It must be... Uh, but you're so tall. That's I true. I mean, you're hard to miss. I know, I'm like, <laughs> it is like Big Bird going incognito when I walk around. <laughs> Big reddish hair, yeah, fat yeah, head, yeah. really tall. And I shriek, I am Conan, I am Conan. <laughs> It's not going to keep you a low profile. Which doesn't help. <laughs> but is it, is it, uh, I would think it's, it would be difficult for you. I would think a lot of people would know you either from the film or from the TV show. Or... And whenever I get recognized, it's really out of context. I, I, um, I think the first time I remember being recognized, I was in some Korean hot springs in Los Angeles. And I had just done License to Kill. And I was sitting there in the hot springs, nude, and soaking wet. And these two Korean girls started going... 007, 007, 007. Mm -hmm. And what can you do? You're just sitting there like... You're just nude. Yeah, that's... You're just nude. You're just Being nude. recognized nude, yeah, that would, be, that would be very strange. I've never had that happen to me. No, yeah, I 
I know. Where people don't know me by my face, but then like, wait a minute. <laughs> It's always, it's an always not what you your think. your nude body. <laughs> That's you. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I got to mention this Law & Order uh, is on NBC, and it's in the ER time slot right now. It's right. They moved us to ER because ER is on hiatus, mm -hmm. and um, they've given us a three-part a three part story, a trilogy, which isn't our usual format. We're usually condensed to one hour, but yeah. they've made it to be continued over three episodes, and... It's done really well. That's, I know, that shows a lot of network confidence that they put you in the ER time yeah, slot. It's their best this show slot. will not be there anytime soon. <laughs> Tonight, instead of ER, we're going to Nandy. And uh, <laughs> that's at 10 p.m. And then moving, uh, it's going to move to Wednesdays on April 16th, and it'll be on at 10 o'clock at night. That's right. right. It was that's really right. great to have you on the program. Will you come Thanks. back soon? We haven't Absolutely. seen you in a long time. I know. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Carrie Lowell, everybody. Now, the mighty, mighty boss tones are coming up. You don't want to miss this band. They're good. We'll be right back.